Hello and welcome to Community with me, Melissa Sanfield. Today is March, I still forgot the date, <laughs> February 18th. I don't know why I want it to be March. I have a lot of exciting things on my horizon and I guess I'm just ready for March 18th to be here. I have a birthday coming up, so maybe that's why I'm rushing. I want to hurry up and get to that big uh, odd number. Uh, today, we have a very exciting guest. We have two beautiful ladies in studio, and they're going to have two separate interviews. One-on-one -on -one is what we're going to call it, and we're going to educate you, excite you, and give you some great information. We're going to highlight a business, first of all, and second of all, we're going to speak about the election and politics, which we all have to deal with at some point in our lives, uh, politicians and voting, things that our forefathers fought so hard for us to for us to have those rights to vote. First of all, I would like to introduce Miss Lynn McNeil. She is the sheet lady. She's known all around LA. We <laughs> saw each other at uh, the Mardi Gras last night and people were coming up to her and they knew her and they're like, oh my God, how are you? How are you? How are you? She has some great news she's gonna share with us. I'm gonna let her tell you all about it on her own, like she's gonna do it herself. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, I'm rambling and I want you, this is all about yes, you. You got it. Here you are. I Here am you not are. trying to tell it either. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Welcome to the community. Let's hear about everything you wanna tell us about. Well, I just hit social media yesterday, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, announcing that I am the first of its kind, shabby chic, Freshness Made Chic is the name of my company, and I have launched a mobile boutique on wheels. Yay! I'm so excited. The interior is just beautiful, burlap lace walls. It's just gorgeous. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to rolling around L.A. Someone just asked me yesterday on Facebook, would I be hitting the ATL Georgia? I said, maybe next year. Ah, Let me talk to get LA LA first. first. Oh, right? Yes. Yeah, so oh, I'm good. super excited. And in doing so, I will be focusing on fundraisers, uh, girls night out. I come to you. You bring the girls, you bring the fun, and I bring the truck, sip and shop, giving, um, a lot of our working moms an opportunity to just relax and enjoy an atmosphere because Lord knows I'm a mom too, a mother of two, 12 and five, my two boys, Ryan and Jared. So I'm being an entrepreneur as I have been for the past six years. I worked in HR for 15 years and um, in 2012, my grandmother was diagnosed with cancer. She was my best friend, my mentor, my everything, and I decided I was gonna take care of her until her last breath. So as of September of last year, or two years ago now, um, I ended up taking care of her as I promised her, and um, I am now a full-time entrepreneur. Yay! So, in doing all that, um, I managed to um, create a dream of mine I was inspired by another African-American entrepreneur who started her own business and has a fashion truck. And I decided, oh my God, I can see it one of these good old days. So here I am and I'm excited. So what started you with the sheets? What, what inspired you to sell sheets? Well, I was pregnant with my second son and I had just gotten laid off from my job. And um, I was sitting at home saying, "Is what can I possibly do to earn a living and, um, you know, still be home with my kids? Right. So I started, you know, looking around, doing some research and decided that what could I get excited about that my customers would get excited about right. that everyone uses every day. Mm -hmm. And here we are. We are into the most soft sheets ever. And it wasn't always this particular thread count, 1,500 thread count sheets. Go ahead and touch those. Put your hand in there. Oh my God. <laughs> That's like heaven in a bag. <laughs> oh yes, my they're God. super soft. Go ahead, take a feel. Oh. They're 16 inches deep, deep pockets. If you have a single pillow top or double pillow top mattress, 
they go fit right under. Wow. So I started out and, you know, over the years, I've been in business six years and over the years I have improved the quality of the product that I sell. And I started to manufacture a cleaning product, a eco-friendly cleaning product. Oh, let me see that. So I have a carpet deodorizer made with essential mm. oils. That's a lavender orange. I just... love lavender. <laughs> like I turn like lavender to me is like catnip to a cat. Ooh. You know, like I just love. It soothes me. It makes me feel so happy. I feel really happy oh, right wow. now. Oh wow! I'm gonna have to buy this from you. Yes, and um, I also came up with the all-purpose cleanser, hmm. and this one is really yummy, too. It's aloe and orange essential oils. Oh, very soothing as you well. You can sprinkle that in your tub, sink, shower, basin, countertop. It's all made with all natural ingredients, mm. and it, there's no toxins, there's no bleach. You can use it as Comet or Ajax. It's comparable to that, but it's really? all natural. It's very eco-friendly. Oh, wow. So how would how would you go about putting these things on the market? Well, I currently have them in a retailer, Simply Wholesome, 4508 Slauson Avenue in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Oh, yes. that's big. Yes. And, oh, she's surprising um, me today. I, I thought I knew spray. everything. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I knew everything about you. Oh, wow. Yes. And I have different linen sprays. This oh, is a two that. ounce. This I, is I didn't French pear. Give you a spritz. Very light. There's, it's non-alcohol in there. I didn't get it. Very fresh. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I got it that time. Got it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wanted to make sure you got it's it. It's really good. And it's not like, it's... It's not overpowering, It's like a perfume right? now, right? Cause, right. My God, it does smell so, so refreshing. So you can actually use this. Uh, to freshen your bed sheets every oh. other day as needed. Oh, this In is between changing wonderful. your bed sheets once a week. Or you can also use it as a room spray. I use mine a lot in the bathroom. Oh, wow. Um, car sprays. A lot of men, they prefer to use it in the car, to freshen the car. Wow. Um, so it's a multiple use. You can even, like, steam iron your clothes and just kind of spray it. And then you iron in at least like a nice fresh. Why didn't you tell me to bring my checkbook today? Because <laughs> I want to buy all of these great products. Oh my God. So, how many scents of these are there? I have a total of eight. Okay, can you name them for me? Pomegranate, goji berries and orange, oh. lavender orange. Mm. Just French lavender, since you love lavender. Lavender. I have a spa rejuvenation, which is a citrus citrus scent. Mm -hmm. And how much are these? That particular two ounce size is ten dollars, mm. and the larger size, which is in a perfume bottle, I which need is a, a lot four of ounce, money. is fifteen dollars. And how much are these? Those eco friendly cleaning products and carpet deodorizers are, are ten dollars. Oh wow! They're sixteen ounces. A little bit goes a long way. There's a hand created screen here, so you're able just to sift it out the top. Oh, I was wondering mm -hmm. what that was for. Mm -hmm. So a little bit goes a long way. So what do we say this is? This is a natural carpet deodorizer with essential oils. Okay. And then you also have an all-purpose cleanser, which you would use like Comet or Ajax without the toxins. This smells so good that I was thinking, wouldn't you, okay, you have the linen spray, mm -hmm. but wouldn't you do like a little powder thing for the sheets? Mm. No, that's not a good idea. Well, I mean... Okay, so I'll I don't do know. It. Me I'll, personally, I'll, I'll patent it. <laughs> I don't know. Me personally, I would just think of it as, you know, like crumbs in your bed. Or crumbs something. in your bed. Even right, though right, it's right. very finely ground up, but I like I would this. Think about that. I like just thought sheet lady. Right. That's all I, you know, I didn't realize you had so many other dimensions to what you were doing. And I think that's absolutely wonderful for you to be an entrepreneur and then to do other things. So right. there are other layers to you that, like I said today, that I didn't even know about. That's right. wonderful. Well, I think part of it, too, is that I wanted to, I have a, a nice customer base with the sheets and I wanted to give them something in addition to what they already love from the right, sheet lady. Right. So let's go with linen spray. So that's that's kind of how it start I, the creative buzz started. So how did your how do your customers find you 
how did they find you before today? Because today you're going to tell us about something that's so <laughs> exciting. So how did they find you before today? And then tell us what happened today. Okay, well, they found me before. I did a lot of vending within the last five years. I did a lot of events, church events, beach events, community events. And, you know, setting up that six-foot table, I started in 2009. I started out of an itty-bitty church in Compton. That was mm -hmm. my first event. So Aww. I always go back to that day because it was the, the, the start of something new, right. something that, you know, I had a passion to drive for. And I wanted to fire my boss so bad a couple of years ago, but God took me another way, and I ended up taking care of my grandmother. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, so when you put it out there in existence, God will listen to you. Right. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> in his yeah, it's timing. It's not always going to come in his when timing. you want. Oh, my <laughs> for God. For sure, for I sure. Know it. Oh, yes. And so what happened today? So today, like I said yesterday, I just totally launched a bimbo-style step van bakery truck um, uh -huh. that I purchased you know I reached out to some people and they said okay we'll go over here to this lot and it was like way in Southgate and dirt wow. road and you know I just totally pulled up my sleeves and said come on let's let's talk about these trucks wow and the guy he was very honest he told me it was the best truck he had he had 10 on the lot and mm. I had somebody come and check it out the engine from top to bottom and you know, I feel really blessed that I was able to get that truck. So from from the time that you got the truck, tell me what you did to get it ready to launch this Ooh. great thing that you're doing <laughs> with your business as an entrepreneur. I think I think it's very noble and I think it's a great thing that you're doing. So other people might want to know. We talk about, you know, helping each other, right. which is what a lot of people don't do they don't reach right. out and help each other or right. share their knowledge so tell us what what happened what led you up to like did you have to go get it painted did you have to redo the inside do you have shelves inside like yes give, give what us a i had picture. to do it was very bare bones a, a totally new experience a new journey it was all metal on the inside mm -hmm. and it has shelves for of course bakery trays to go all through the truck so I had to go to an aluminum shop and have them cut all that out. Mm -hmm. And it was all metal on the inside. And then I had to find a contractor to, you know, put some type of boards or some type of something that I could adhere. Right. You know, either paint or fabric. But I said, I don't want paint. I'm a girly girl. Mm -hmm. It has to be girly girl. It has to be shabby chic. That's my brand. Right. And um, so I went out and I got some padding, you know, and I went out and got some burlap fabric, which mm -hmm. is very natural, very eco-friendly. And a friend of mine and myself, Miss Dolores, love her to death. We spent hours in the truck. Wow. We didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> it was our first experience. I was like, I had gotten quotes on people to come out and install the, you know, the material the way I wanted it. And I woke up one morning and I called her up and I said, Dolores, we can do this ourselves. Wow. We can do this ourselves. So let me figure out how we're going to do it. Right. But we're going to do it ourselves. We'll do it a little bit at a time until we get it right. And it turned out beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah, it turned out beautiful. And the contractor, he put the, the walls up. I have a beautiful shelf up, trimmed in lace. And so, you know, and then I have um, a couple of treasures from my grandmother that are in the truck. That, I mean, so a lot of this stuff was recycled. Yes. You know, I mean, you're working on a budget. Right. But you want it to look really nice. And you made it happen. And I made it happen. So, but it wasn't easy, you know, there was some, some pitfalls and some ups and downs. And so it wasn't like I just jumped on it and, and you it know, happened. I mean, there was some months I ran out of money and, right. you know, then you have to get the funds together. So as my little boy says, mommy, all you got to do is go, go sell some more sheets. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what she did. And exactly. what we're going to do is take a break and we will be back in a moment. We're going to talk about networking and let's mm -hmm. help each other out when we when we're starting a business yes. uh, like we're doing today we want everybody to know about all of our great products and all of our great people we'll be mm -hmm. right back mm -hmm. 
Are you a diabetic? Need some energy? Need to quench your thirst? Try Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink, the only energy drink named suitable for diabetics by the American Diabetic Association. And it's now available with no calories, no carbs, no sugar, and no fat, and a smooth, natural blend of energy, vitamins, and minerals. Need to quench your thirst? Try Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink, the only energy drink named suitable for diabetics by the American Diabetic Association. And it's now available with no calories, no carbs, no sugar, and no fat, and a smooth, natural blend of energy, vitamins, and minerals. Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink is the healthiest, best-tasting energy drink around. For more information and online ordering with free shipping, please visit hiphopbev.com. Remember, Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink, suitable for diabetics, great for everyone. Hi, and we are back. We have Lynn McNeil, and she has all these great products that she created herself. I wanted to um, speak to you about your products, about how we met, which was at a networking event through Cynthia Billingsley, who's such a great networker. Like, she could tra train us all how to network, right? Yes. She, she knows a little bit of everybody, and she's connected me with so many great people yes. who are, like, legitimate entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. They're really doing what they say they're going to do. They're really following their dreams and following their goals. Like, they're setting goals, and, and they're like trendsetters. And I'm so glad that you and I have uh, met. We see each other quite a few different places right. the luncheons the uh, <laughs> mardi, brunch, gras. mardi gras we've seen each other in quite a few places and it's nice to see each other and yes, to get to is. know people because you can introduce people you can connect people great people who belong together you know mm -hmm. it's a, it's a great time uh, to share when 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 it's friendly yes and so we speak about we spoke about this last night that not a lot of people network with each other mm -hmm. and Give us some thoughts on that about how you network with others, because I know you do. I know you pump up other people's businesses like they're your own. Oh my goodness. Well, first of all, I look at it as a gift to be able to be out there and pumping your product and putting it in front of people who really love it with regard to what I do. When people get the sheets and they give me a testimonial or, oh my God, I absolutely love it, or it was a gift for a friend who was ill, and right. you know, they just feel so much, you know, they're just really relaxed now, they're right. homebound or what have you. And that really touches my heart. Mm -hmm. That really touches my heart. And I really feel like in terms of networking, that the myth that African-American women cannot help each other or pull each other along or we keep everything to ourselves mm -hmm. that really bothers me as an entrepreneur and as an african-american woman who i know when anytime i'm out and about at an event or just talking with someone and when sh we're sharing ideas i'm always there to say hey look it have you tried this on social media? Right. Have you, um, I know of this event going on on this date. Right. You know, let me get you the information, you know. Right. And, you know, a lot of times I just remember when I started six years ago, I was in that little bitty church with two other ladies said they were selling jewelry. And they invited me to that event. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have known anything about it. Right. You know, and I just would have been out there trying to figure it out on my own. Yes. So, you know, for me, it's. It's a privilege and an honor to be able to reach out to someone who's just starting out. Right. Their labels on their product just might be homemade, printed out, or what have you, right. or you know, whatever it is, you can just tell they want to do this. You yes. have to have a passion, drive, and desire to get out there and beat the pavement and get before people and you know, do what you do. Right. You know, so for me, I, I just, it's just something that's within me and I have to. I mean, I'm always pumping on social media, taking pictures if I'm somewhere and I see somebody's product. That's good, right. And I'm like, hey, check this girl out. She's got an amazing product. Like, we're not in a retailer. Right. You know what I mean? We're right. not in a retailer. So we have to be able to network with each other and 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 get their name out there right you know just and that like, helps you too totally i mean i just i just would want people to treat me like i treat them right you know and, and that and thing. and that's the other thing that i think about with the truck and um which is you know i would like to promote a business once a month 
on the truck. Okay. And have them, you know, whatever it is, if it's jewelry, if it's sugar scrub, if it's t-shirts, right. you know, whatever your message is, you know. I mean, that's my way of paying it forward. Yes, that's You know, wonderful. within the community and outside the community. You know, I plan on having adver advertisement spots. You know, I don't have the whole truck wrap. The whole bottom half is just all white. Right. So it's available for you to do your hashtag pucker up lemonade company right or, right you know pucker up needs to get here <laughs> yeah that's my way, girl by the way <laughs> see that's me promoting right yes yes she has great products she, yes she, she does. does spa water for your events and oh my gosh she's amazing i mean off beautiful the chain. jars off the chain, off the chain. But just a great going, spirit period she's amazing and we're going to make sure we continue with the Hey Girlfriend Network. I could never run out of shows yes. because yes. there's so many women yes. and entrepreneurs in the Hey Girlfriend Network. I mean, it's endless. Yes. And I just want to give a shout out to Cynthia that with getting into the Hey Girlfriend Network a couple of years ago, I mean, I have like so many people that are now my customers and not right. only my customers, but they're my friends. Right. You know, we support each other. We give a shout out to each other, and that's that's really, really in the in the nuts and bolts of it all. That's really what that was all about, right? You know, and she did it. She and she, she set did out it. to do that. She Cynthia did that. Yeah, she did an awesome, four hundred people job. at a luncheon, and now you have to move your venue because it's even more people for the next one. Like that's, amazing, that's big, it's totally really amazing. Big. And she's a regular everyday girl, and she's not. She doesn't put on any air. Not she at all. Is, not she is she's a really good friend Not she really is and i'm so glad again that she brought us together and i want you to give everyone your information because our time is going by so <laughs> fast and make sure we get all of your information tell us if we can book your truck tell us everything yes, you want us to yes, know yes you can totally book the truck at 424-250-8166 424-250-8166. The actual website, which I'm so excited to be launching. I put it together myself, so it's my baby. It's everything Freshness yourself. Made, which is M-A-I-D, mm -hmm. like the French maid, mm -hmm. chic, C-H-I-C dot com. So that's Freshness Made Chic dot com is the website. And you can also, again, hashtag fmc truck that is for instagram and freshness made m-a-i-d chic is my uh facebook page she does everything i mean <laughs> i can't even i can barely clean the sink let alone create the cleaner for the sink this is a this is amazing. We're going to support Lynn as Thank much you. as possible. Thank We're going to tell so everyone that she much. has great products. If you want to find them, Simply Wholesome has them. And that's really big, too, because Simply Wholesome's been in our community for a very, over very long time. Years. And they're doing great things. They're serving up some great food over mm. there also. So we want to make sure we support Lynn and her great products. It takes, it takes a big person to step out and uh, live their dream. And that one little day in Compton was the first day of the rest of your life. Yes, it was. Amazing. Yes, it was. We're going to be right back. We have <laughs> Joyce Garcia in the building. She's in the studio, and she's going to tell us all about her run. She's running. We're running to a break, and we're going to come back with Joyce Garcia. We'll be right back. Quench your thirst, try Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink, the only energy drink named suitable for diabetics by the American Diabetic Association. And it's now available with no calories, no carbs, no sugar, and no fat, and a smooth, natural blend of energy, vitamins, and minerals. Need to quench your thirst? Try Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink, the only energy drink named suitable for diabetics by the American Diabetic Association. And it's now available with no calories, no carbs, no sugar, and no fat and a smooth natural blend of energy vitamins and minerals pitbull sugar-free energy drink is the healthiest best tasting energy drink around for more information and online ordering with free shipping please visit hiphopbev.com remember pitbull sugar-free energy drink suitable for diabetics great for everyone
Hello, and we are back. We have Joyce Burrell Garcia here, and she's going to tell us all about this amazing run she's doing. I want to know about it, and we want all the voters to know about it. March 3rd is the big day, and I would like to welcome you. Thank you. Into the community. Thank you so much. Thank I'm you. I'm delighted and really jazzed to be here. Oh, good. Yeah. Tell us all about your run, your run and your campaign. Running, <clears throat> excuse me, running for the community college board of trustees is one of the most exhilarating experiences that I've ever had. Oh. I'm passionate about community colleges, and this is not my first time running. Okay. But this is the charm. I'm going to win this time. Oh, I yes. believe, I just really believe that this is the time for me to, to prevail. But the community colleges, many people don't know a lot about them, mm -hmm. but you've heard of some of the colleges. Yes. You've heard of Southwest. Yes. College, you've heard of LA City, yes, and West LA, and Harbor, yes, and Mission, and Piers, and Valley, and Trade Tech. There are nine community colleges that comprise the district. Okay, and the district serves more than 250,000 students every year. Wow, it's the largest district in the United States. Oh, is it? And it covers 882 square miles. Wow, so it's a very powerful has a very powerful reach and it's um, there are many many wonderful things that are happening with the students at each of the colleges because each of the colleges has their own personality mm -hmm. and so it's a thrill really to visit at the colleges speak with the students yes. find out what their where their hearts are yes. and want to be a champion for them yes so there is a seven member board that governs all of the community colleges. Okay. And so the board is elected at large by the public. And so this time around, there are four seats that are on the ballot. They're all odd seats, seat one, three, five, and seven. It has nothing to do with the geographical area. Right. It has everything to do with just, it's a placeholder. Okay. Because it's at large. And so I'm running in seat seven. Oh, yes. And I am, my entire mission is really about my question has always been, what is the relationship between the largest community college district in the United States and our communities? Mm -hmm. How do we forge partnerships, relationships? And so as I've been going to a lot of churches yes. uh, and meeting with community leaders, many people know very little about the district. They know very little about That's the true. community colleges. They don't know the power the community colleges possess. They don't know how to become a vendor for, for the community colleges. They don't know how to be able to do business with the community colleges. Right. And so part of my vision is to, I, what I'd like to do is number one, bring the entire board of trustees, the chancellor of the, of the, of the community colleges, all nine of the presidents of the community colleges, yes. and leaders from the faith-based communities. Yes. Bring them to a table so that we can begin a conversation, yes. so that we can look at what we have in common. Mm -hmm. How can we work together? Because I believe that for some of our students that are underperforming, that if we had this partnership, they would be able to take advantage of a lot of the resources within our communities. Yes, that sounds wonderful. It's, you said this is not your first run, this no. is your second run. This is my third run. Third run yes. third times the charm yes it is yes it is yes it is i'm excited yes, so who you. are the who are your voters my voters are anyone that resides within the 882 square mile radius of of uh, the district i live in inglewood would that be me no. now when you speak of inglewood inglewood has their own community college district or there you're attached to a community college oh, district okay. so for instance long beach has their own community college okay. district santa monica has their own community college okay. district pasadena has their own community college district but what the la community college district does is mm -hmm. it winds through more than 36, 40 communities. Okay. And so we, we take a portion of Inglewood, but not all of Inglewood. Okay. We take a portion of Hawthorne, but not all of Hawthorne. Okay. Hawthorne. So, but basically most voters will be, will be able to vote uh, March 3rd for the community college. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 And that's so exciting. It is. I know that you've been going to different churches and, yes, and to have. get the feedback is very important to see is. what do the people think and the schools are there for them as well. You see, right. I believe there's a there's a 
a co-mingling that should go on between the community, the colleges, because we need each other. Exactly. We need our children to go there. Exactly. exactly. Our family, our loved ones, even myself. That's right. I was just at Southwest uh, about a year and a half ago. Right. So there's no age limit exactly. on when you can enter that community college. Precisely. To reach those people that may be in the church, may be a little bit older. Hey, come on in and take exactly. a class, exactly. a computer class. Right. Take a Spanish class. Exactly. Let's let's go out and try some of these things because it's low cost and it's affordable right. for us to go to a community college. And if we have beautiful people like yourself backing us, Thank my you. God, Thank what a you. winner! Thank you. Speaking to to cost, the tuition is forty six dollars per unit. Yes. This is the least expensive tuition in the entire United States. Is it? It is, it is. $46 per unit is the, you won't find it any less expensive anywhere else in the United wow. States. Wow. And so that again is another uh, perk, if you will, of being in California mm -hmm. where there's progressive thinking right. about at least trying to keep the cost down. Yes. Trying to keep the cost down. We have though within our, uh, within the system, within the district, we have some very some vulnerable populations. Mm -hmm. For instance, the veterans that come in that want to to enter, right. they've been on the battlefield. Yes. They've been they've been disenfranchised in mm -hmm. many many ways. And so, looking at the veterans, I'm looking at those that are disabled, yes. the disabled population, and also males, minority males, under the age of 25. They have the the lowest success rate in the district. Wow. The lowest. And so the data tells us that, but what the data doesn't tell us is why. Why? And so a, a major reason why I want to be on the board is because we need a face on the board. We have not had a face, an African American, on the board since 2009. Oh, really? Really. And so that means that a lot of information, a lot of data that the community would be able to come alongside the district mm -hmm. and help with it's not happening because we don't have a voice on the board. Right. Okay. And so now is a, this is a good time because we have the opportunity to elect two African Americans this time around. Wow. There's an African American woman that's running in seat number three. Okay. Her name is Sydney Camlager. Don't be fooled by her name. She's a woman uh -huh. and she's an African American woman. She's running in seat number three. Okay. And I'm Joyce Burrell Garcia and I'm running in seat number seven. Oh, wow. And so, we have an opportunity to have two, to have two, to have two of us and serving. For me, that says that the board is approachable, more yes. approachable. Yes, yes. It makes things a little bit easier when when I see someone that looks like Absolutely. me. Absolutely. That's smart, educated, knows what they're talking about, knows what they're doing, and they are here to help. Exactly, exactly. And we're accountable. And accountable. Because we would want to bring to the communities the issues, mm -hmm. so that we can say this is what's going on. How what can we do to improve the situation? Yes. But without knowing and without the, the information being brought to us, we have no way of being able to be uh, effective in terms of right. helping to, to chart a new, a new direction yes. and solutions. Yes. You know? Right now, the, the board, it meets twice a month. Mm -hmm. It meets at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. How many people are able to attend a 2 o'clock meeting not, not many. Day. Not, not many. many. Not many. And that's part of the reason why it's not well known. The district is not well known. Right. Because, because of the way it does business. And so a major portion, part of my mission is to make sure that I'm in community. Right. That community knows what's going on at the community college level. Yes. You know. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. We want to reach out and let people know the college is here for you. That's right. Different health fairs go on at the colleges. Yes. It, it, community, they named it Community College for a reason. Right. It's right. open to everyone. It's open to everyone. And it used to be called Junior College. Yes, it did. Because, and that was because the thinking was most people are going to go to college. Mm -hmm. But it, the, the concept morphed into community mm -hmm. because it's bigger than just people wanting to go to a four year institution. Right. There are people there as you mentioned earlier, that want to be enriched. Right. They want to take classes to enrich themselves. There are those there that want to trade. There yes. are those that are trying to find their way. Yes. And they just need some time. But they need to be in an environment that is nurturing and that provides them the kind of structure that is healthy yes. and that's going to help them make money. Okay. And I believe it's a great thing because if you, if you could pick up any community college book, 
at any of the nine colleges in which you are running for seat number seven, you can learn how to play the guitar. You can That's do right. ceramics. That's right. If you wanted to learn about biology or astronomy, which is something I wanted to always learn about, I'm able to go and, and grab that. Exactly. And I'm able exactly. to to get it from someone. The, the community college teachers, they care about their students. Exactly. And exactly. they're there for their students. The last class that I took at Southwest, the teacher was there all of the 16 weeks. He was helpful before. This was at Southwest. He was uh -huh. helpful right before class. Right after class, he made himself available. I mean, you can't fail that way. Exactly. exactly. Even though I'm not good in math. But I tried my best, and I was always encouraged, always yes. encouraged yes. every day. So exactly. I believe in the community colleges, and I believe in we what do you're too. doing, and I we believe do in the too. seat that you're running for. Thank you. We're going to take a quick break, and we will be back with Joyce Burrell Garcia. Are you a diabetic? Need some energy? Need to quench your thirst? Try Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink. The only energy drink named suitable for diabetics by the American Diabetic Association. And it's now available with no calories, no carbs, no sugar, and no fat, and a smooth, natural blend of energy, vitamins, and minerals. Need to quench your thirst? Try Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink. The only energy drink named suitable for diabetics by the American Diabetic Association. And it's now now available with no calories, no carbs, no sugar, and no fat, and a smooth, natural blend of energy, vitamins, and minerals. Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink is the healthiest, best-tasting energy drink around. For more information and online ordering with free shipping, please visit hiphopbev.com. Remember, Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink, suitable for diabetics, great for everyone. I am back with the beautiful Joyce Burrell Garcia. She's running for seat number seven yes. in the community college, mm -hmm. on the community college board of trustees, seat number seven. And that election date is March 3rd. We are hoping and praying that she gets the job because I believe she's the best woman for the job. I hope everyone else agrees with me. We want to have people, our elected officials, we want to have them care about what they're doing and have a passion. And we can see that Miss Joyce Varel Garcia has a passion for the I community do. colleges. I, I wanted to uh, also mention, before we went on break, we were speaking about the different classes that you can take. But also, if you are busy and you are, think you are too busy to go to college, you're able to take courses online. online. Exactly, exactly. That's a wonderful thing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Short classes, day classes, mm -hmm. night classes, mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. We have no excuses exactly. to reach that higher education. That's right. Exactly. That's a wonderful thing. We spoke about the meetings. I would like to know when those meetings are held mm -hmm. and what you may do to change the meetings to make it a little more uh, convenient for people right. who might want to go. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. The meetings are, they're held uh, on a Wednesday, okay. twice per month. Okay. They're held downtown okay. on Wilshire Boulevard at 770 Wilshire Boulevard. And it's, what I'm looking at is working with community, community leaders to really get their input, their buy-in. Mm -hmm. Because when you're part of a board, no one individual on the board makes decisions. Oh, no. It is, it's a collective. You are uh, influencing your peers, your colleagues, yes. perhaps with direction. So to get the buy-in, my uh, approach or strategy is to go back to some of the community leaders that I've met with. Yes. We're going to have a holy huddle. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about yes. how we can present something that would be good for everyone, a win-win for everyone yes. in terms of more access for the community to be able to participate in, in the meetings. Yes. And so, but this is something that's going to take some planning, yeah. but we, everyone is available. There are people to go to, to mm -hmm. be able to really form a, um, an agenda, if you will, yes. and then present it to the board. 
Okay, that's you present wonderful. it to the board. Yes. And so that's that's my strategy. I'm 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 a team player, yes. so I'm my new colleagues, I'm hopeful that you know, we will work very, very well together. Yes. There's no reason why we wouldn't, yes. because we're looking at the same objective. Oh, yes. And that is student success for every student that comes into the doors of the community colleges. Oh, wow. Regardless as to what their objectives are. Right. But we want to make sure that they achieve their objectives. Let me just tell you, sort of um, take you into a, a story that I heard yesterday where I was really, really impressed. Mm -hmm. I was at a luncheon in Tarzana. And I met a gentleman who told me about his grandfather, who was 95 years old. Mm -hmm. He loved theater. Yes. At 95 years old, he went back to L.A. City College and went into theater. What? He studied there. As a matter of fact, that's where he died. Wow. But at 95, he had been going. He had, this was his heart, his passion, at 95. Wow. And I thought, God bless him. I mean, I said, what a testimony. That is Because wonderful. it lets people know that, like you were saying, there are no barriers. It's never too late. It's never too late. It has nothing to do with ethnicity. It has nothing to do with age. It has nothing to do with sexual orientation. It has nothing to do with anything. Or your background. Or your background. Because Speaking of background, we've got a lot of young people and older people, mature people, that are now coming out of prison, mm -hmm. and they need to re-enter. Yes. And so, and a lot of them are coming to the community colleges. Yes. We want to be able to meet their needs. Yes. You know, with the counseling, and also with a welcome. Mm -hmm. So, because what has happened is behind them. Yes. We want them to, to, to look forward, not backwards. It's a fresh you know? start. It's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. And it's a community college is going to be what you make it. Exactly, exactly. You, you, you're going to get out of it what you put into it. Exactly. And any time you start school, put your, your best foot forward. Right. You know, you want to do your best because some of the colleges, they'll arrange for you to have child care. Or you can get child Absolutely. care if you're going to school. Absolutely. It, it, it's so easy. It is. To, it to, is. To be a part of the education system here in yes. California, and yes. especially like you say in LA. Right. There's it, no requirements. Come on in, and, and we want you to be here. Exactly. We want you to do your best and succeed. Exactly. And what also was wonderful is that our president, with his recent visits here, mm -hmm. he visited Trade Tech, mm -hmm. and it was encouraging because he really spoke about monies that are going to become available yes. um, to be able to enlarge our, our reach in terms of technology to make the district really uh, a model, mm -hmm. if you will. Yes. And so I was really encouraged. We were all encouraged by his presence and with his message. And then he came back again and he spoke about his proposal yes. to have the first two years free for yes. deserving students. Yes. That is that is a, a very novel thought. It is. And it's one that I'm, I'm trusting is going to gain more and more momentum. Oh, yes. You know, because this would be absolutely perfect in terms of helping to ensure that we are, in fact, training people mm -hmm. in, in, to be equipped. 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 And to be able to provide for their families and the, the, their, their yes. communities and the larger society. I mean, what's better? Is there anything any better than that? No. You know? So I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm very, very optimistic and about where the district is, some of the new initiatives they have that mm -hmm. are in place to support students. Yes. And, and I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of advancing this mission. That's wonderful. Yeah. What, when you vote, when we vote on March 3rd, what is the percentage that you'd have to get? Are all those seats... I guess I want to ask the question uh, correctly. For seat number one, seat number three, seat number five, and then your seat number seven, what is the percentage? Do you have to get 51 percent? Are there? It's different this time around. This is the first election where there will not be a general election for the community college. Oh, so really? generally, the first, the top two vote getters, mm -hmm. they go into a runoff. Mm -hmm. They go into the general election. Right. But this time. It's winner takes all. So in seat one, whoever gets the most votes, that's who will prevail. Oh, wow. In seat three, seat five, seat seven, straight across the board, is whoever gets wow. the most votes. So this is, this, is a new, this is a new procedure 
a new protocol this time. Right. And so it's, uh, it just means that it's, it's um, I'm sure it has its advantages. Yes. And so I'm trying to reach as many people as I possibly can. Yes. My opponents I'm running, I'm the only woman running in seat seven. Oh, wow. The only African-American woman running in seat seven. My, the, the two opponents, lovely men, um, but they're two opponents and I'm the only woman. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. Girl power. That's girl right. Power. Exactly. 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 Well, you are a winner. I see you as as thank you. The person sitting in seat number seven. Thank you. How about that? Thank you. I like that. Yes. I like that. We want to uh, touch on the term. How long is your term? Does it start once the election is over and all the votes are counted, and we're just speaking to say, "Hey, you won." What what happens then? What what's the course of action and what happens? July first is when there's the the, the turnover. Okay. Um, the terms are for four years. Okay. And we are reelected every two years. Okay. So this time we have the odd numbers, mm -hmm. seats that are on the ballot. Yes. In the next election cycle, it will be the even numbers. Oh, okay. That are that will be on the ballot. Right. So there's a system. Yes. There's a system. There's a system, and it is actually a it's a full-time position, but it's actually also part-time okay. because everyone, most everyone on the board, has a full-time job. Okay. Uh, because the board only meets twice, twice per per month. Right. But the board is, if I can, I the board is like the Supreme Court because the board governs. Mm -hmm. It does not micromanage anything. Okay. It, it 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 governs the entire district. It even appoints presidents. We evaluate presidents. Okay. We anything that is of a of an issue that would require any kind of litigation, all fiduciary responsibilities they rest with the board. Okay. They rest with the board. Oh, cool. And so, but what I'm envisioning for myself is I'm going to be full time. This is going to be a full time, f full time for me. Oh wow! Because I want to be able to really meet more of the people that are involved in. Um, in business yes. because I want us to have more partnerships with the Chambers of Commerce, with the business source centers, yes. with other community agencies that provide services. So I want to be, my, my role, my strong suit I believe is connecting, being able to identify a mat, where a match, right. where we can match, come right. together and, and work together. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm excited about it, I really, really am. One of my challenges, and I bring this up because I, I really want you to, to know, and I want the audience to know, yes. is my last, the, the, the last part of my um, surname is Garcia. When I was getting signatures to get on the ballot, mm -hmm. many African Americans said to me, I'm glad that I saw you because I would not have voted for you if I hadn't seen you. Really? Really. That, that is a, a sentiment that is common, it's common. Hmm. And so it has placed me in a situation where I, I have been using every means at my disposal to become visible so that all people, but particularly African Americans, know right. that, that they see me and know who I am and what right. I represent. So that has been my biggest challenge. Right. That has been my biggest challenge. So you say, like, what's in a name? Yeah. You don't, you don't know. Right. You don't right. know who it is yeah. behind that name. Exactly. Exactly. And sometimes we can make assumptions, assumptions. after a name. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I have one more question. Certainly. What is your biggest challenge in this campaign? Is it the name? Yes. It is. It is. It's wow. the name. It's the name. Yeah. Yeah. But I've been fortunate to... Um, be in the LA Sentinel. Oh, wow. I had an article uh, just last week with my picture and my platform, and also in Pace. Oh, good. And uh, I'm also um, having flyers made, doorknob flyers made. Yes. And they're going to be distributed in some of the council districts and our districts. And my face is on the door hanger. Oh, so cool. that people can see my face along with my name. So. When we say there are nine schools mm -hmm. and there are 800 and something, it's 882 square miles. 882 square miles. I guess the question that I have is on the ballot, would it say 
for seat one, for seat three, for seat five, and seat seven. Yes. Those people, all of those people, do you know about how many people there are in those districts? I mean, in that, in that. Oh. Well, there are, there are more than 2 million voters in, in, with spread throughout 882 square miles. Oh, wow. But of that, the high propensity voters, it's about three quarters of them are high propensity voters. Okay. And that's pretty high. Okay. But what I'm looking at this time is we've got seven council districts on the board. Mm -hmm. On the ballot, I'm sorry. On the so ballot. council districts 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, mm -hmm. 12, and 14, they're all on the ballot. So because of the, the scope of the community college district, we envelop all of those districts. Okay. So I'm looking, for instance, at um, Council District 8, mm -hmm. which is now held by um, Council District um, Councilman Bernard Parks. Yes. That's going to be a heated, a, con a very heated race. So I'm doing a lot of campaigning in that area oh, that's smart. because people are going to be voting. They're going to be voting. I'm. I live in Council District 10, Herb Wesson's district. Mm -hmm. But I will do campaigning there as well. Continued campaigning yes. as well there. So I'm looking at the, the council districts to be able to identify the high propensity voters within those council districts because that's where I, my mailers and everything else will be going. And then more people are going to come out definitely right. for those votes. Right, right. And, and as a voter, sometimes I don't know about propositions. I try to read about them, but if I don't know, say, the first part of on the ballot, I wouldn't right. just skip to the bottom. You know what exactly. I mean? So exactly. So since you all are there, they're going to vote on, on you as well. Right. You know? But many times, though, Melissa, what happens is it's like when you get a ballot and you see uh, all these judgeships. Mm -hmm. You know anything about the judges? Yeah. Uh, no. And so what most of us do is we skip it. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing with the community college, that many people don't know about the community college. Right. And they don't know maybe about the candidates unless they've received a lot of flyers. Right. And so some people will, will skip that section altogether. Wow. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about that because... There's a guy, he's the treasurer of California. He was the state treasurer, and I think his name was Chang, uh -huh. John Chang. Uh -huh. And I kept seeing his his uh, name on my uh, checks for this job that I have, and I kept saying, oh, my God. And so when I, it was time to vote only by name recognition, I voted for him. Right. But recently I opened up my check stub, and I just realized, this is months later, that it wasn't even him anymore. It was a lady now. Right, And right. so yes. that name recognition means a exactly. lot. Exactly. So I said all that to say, even if they see your name, the voters on the door hanger, if they see your name as we walk into Skies, which is right, right down the street, right. if exactly. we walk into different places and we see your name with the face, when it comes time to vote, Hey, I've seen her. Yes, hey, she's exactly. been to my church. Right. Joyce uh, Burrell Garcia has been in my community, exactly. and she cares about us. And the big thing is, once you go right before, you're going to keep on going. You're going to exactly. stay with the people, and that's right. that's your promise. Exactly. And we want to make sure we stay in touch with the people. I had a flyer. I had a... Um, a magazine about all the voting with Herb Wesson and yes. the big election. This is a really big election, yes. and we yes. certainly wish you the best of Thank luck. You. Thank you. We really Thank do. You. What will you run again after the four years, or will it just will this be your swan dance? You know, it's too soon to know. I can't answer that. I really can't. I just know that my heart, my passion, it lies with the community colleges because I believe that that's where the most uh, improvement and innovation can take place. Yes. yes. Yeah. I was looking for this paper. It's, you think you passed it. Yes, that's it. LA Watts Times endorsements. Right. And these are uh, some of the people that are running in the districts in which you mentioned. And so you're a part of this election. Yes, I am. March 3rd, is it Los Angeles Community College? Yes, yes. Los Angeles Community, Community College Board of Trustees, right. seat seven, exactly. Joyce Burrell Garcia. She's the person 
for the job. We don't want to say gender, but she's a beautiful woman. We don't want to say she's right. African American, but she is African American. Uh -huh. She looks just like me, and I embrace that. I love all cultures, but when we see too. our own doing something great, we want to make sure we back them. Yes. And she's a lady to look up to, and. I'm just maybe a couple of years younger than her, but I like to look up to her and say, hey, I want to be like Joyce Burrell Garcia. These Thank are you. things that we can aspire to do. Yes. Maybe you can yes. teach me. Well, you can Absolutely. run and Absolutely. you have a passion. Let's care. And like uh, Lynn said earlier, reach back to people and That's bring right. them up with you. That's right. Help exactly. people who are in your midst. Mm -hmm. And you will have... How many people do you say are in the community college? They'll be in your midst. How many people right. are there that you will touch? Exactly. That will know exactly. who you are. Right. And you will right. make your mark on many, many people. Yes. And sometimes that makes a difference in our it lives. Does. It does. When you're in college, you may have a divorce. You may have uh, someone pass away in your family. Right. And, you, and you need the school. It may mm -hmm. take your mind off some things that are at home. Exactly. Exactly. It may make life just a little bit a better little bit for better, you. A little bit better, a little bit sweeter. Yes. So tell the voters what you want them to know. Okay. Look right in that camera right there and tell everyone what you want them to know. What I want you to know, uh, voters, is that this is a passion that I have, the community college district, serving on the board of trustees. I'm asking for your vote of confidence on March the 3rd. I'm committed to community. I'm committed to our students. I'm committed to our faculty. I'm committed to everyone that's involved with the community college district. And I'm, I want you to also know that what I'm bringing to bear is also a perspective that is, I, b I believe, a bit unique. I served, I lived for three years in the People's Republic of China. I taught at a university there. And so my, my vision in terms of what technology can do, the power of technology, I saw technology at its absolute best when I was in China. And this is something I'm also going to be championing, championing here at the Los Angeles Community College District. So I ask you to visit my website, which is Joyce for the number four, collegeboard.com and please feel free to reach out to me. I'm available to you. So I trust that you will vote for me uh, March the 3rd. Thank you. And who, who could say it any better? She is her best voter and I will be voting and I will tell everyone that I know to check the box or ink the box that says yeah. Joyce Burrell Garcia for seat number seven, Board of Trustees, Los Angeles Community College. That's it, and that's all we have for you today. We'll see you next time in the community. Have a great week.